love is friendship set to music. Laura and Dave, your life together is just starting and it will take many turns along the way. You'll have your glory days and your sad days. However, because you have each other, you'll have everything you need. Give me Cling to each other. Communicate truthfully. Love each other. Compromise when you need to. Laugh frequently and make each other the number one priority in your lives. With these tools, you'll have a successful marriage. Today we come joyfully to acknowledge the commitment of you, David, and you, Laura, to share your lives in marriage. Dear family, friends, David and Laura, marriage and the union it symbolizes can be one of the most wonderful of human experiences. For love, in its infinite manifestations, is truly what life is all about. David, before our family and friends, I choose to share my life openly with you. I pledge to give you my love respect and support to speak the truth to you and to encourage your fulfillment as an individual. I promise to love you for yourself and for always. And I promise to honor my commitment to you for all our life together. Laura is the best friend you can have. This is what I truly cherish about my sister. When something happens, when I need advice, I know that Laura will understand how I'm feeling without me explaining, and she'll know exactly what to say. When she met Dave, this whole move to New Orleans idea was not exactly in the plan. And the fact that she went was a testament to just how special this guy was. But also, Laura had fallen in love with a smart, talented, good-looking guy, and that was in the plan. Dave is caring, he's thoughtful, He's composed, and he's an excellent partner for Laura. I know he makes her happy, and I know that he will take really good care of her. Laura, you will always be our baby girl. It's been an absolute joy to watch you grow up and become a confident, intelligent, beautiful woman. You've exceeded all of our dreams and expectations I'm sure that you'll continue on this life's journey with the grace and class that you always demonstrate. Thank you for being our daughter. We love you so much. There are some things that are unique to just Laura. So Dave, I thought that this would be a good time to share them with you. Laura does not know the international sign for choking. Because when we were little, we allegedly behaved so badly that my parents sent us to bed without dinner. So we decide that we'll take turns sneaking past my parents into the kitchen to steal the steak off the counter. So when it was Laura's turn to do the sneaking, she put one piece of steak into her mouth, tiptoed past my parents, and then sprinted down the hall back to my room. But the steak got stuck in her throat and she was allegedly choking. <laughs> Luckily, I had just taken my first aid class and I knew all about the Heimlich. But I also knew that the Heimlich is serious and you're not supposed to fool around with it. So, I asked Laura calmly, if you're really choking and you would like me to do the Heimlich maneuver, 
please make the international sign for choking. Which all the doctors in the room will know is this. But Laura wasn't doing that. She was doing this. Eventually she choked that piece of steak out herself and she is just fine. Laura, before our family and friends, I choose to share my life openly with you. I pledge to give you my love, respect, and support, to speak the truth to you, and to encourage your fulfillment as an individual, to strive for our life together, to be one of trust, understanding, and forgiveness, to honor and care equally for our shared hopes, desires, and goals as we move through whatever life may bring. I promise to love you for yourself. I promise to honor my commitment to you for all our life together.